Hi everybody, this is David from Beagle Home Inspections. Hope everybody's still enjoying their hot summer. Well, it's hot here. So today, what I want to talk about is, um, it's a little bit controversial. Some people say it is, some people's not. I'm just going to let you know what I think about it and what I'm going to do, what I do when I do an inspection. And what it is, is refrigerators. Does a home inspector inspect a refrigerator or do they not? Well, the other question is, if they do, how much do they inspect? So, first off, what we have to decide is, is a refrigerator a built-in kitchen appliance or is it a portable appliance? So like your oven or your dishwasher, garbage disposal, those are considered built-in appliances. To get them out of there, you gotta do some effort to, to take them out. Microwave, if it's into the cabinet, you gotta take screws out of it and get it off its, its brace and all that, it's built in. But if your microwave just sits on the counter and you plug it into the wall, then it's considered portable. The built-in microwave, we'll test it. We'll see if it works using normal operational controls. The one on the counter, we're not going to test it because you just unplug it, take it with you. It can move from place to place. Same thing with a washer and dryer. Those are considered portable and because you can just unplug them, unhook them, and take them out. Refrigerator kind of falls into that. It's kind of portable. The other thing you want to think about too, or to, in, to inject in this conversation is, how often do people take this appliance with them? Do you take your dishwasher with you when you're moving from one house to another? Do you take your oven from one house to another? Your microwave that's up in the cabinets, do you take that? Most people know they don't. It's very rare to see that happen. How often do people take their washer and dryer? Pretty frequently. How often do people take their refrigerators? Pretty frequently. How often do new homes get built where the, the buyer says, yeah, I want you can put whatever oven and dishwasher and garbage disposal that, but I'm bringing my own refrigerator because I have one I really like and refrigerators last forever. So why not, why not bring that with you? So with that um, explanation, what I do is I consider refrigerator portable. Now, according to our uh, portable removable appliance, not a built-in kitchen appliance. With that said, our standards of practice say we don't test portable removable objects and not built in like the microwave on your counter you're plugging in or an air conditioning unit that's in a window that you just brace it up in the window plug it in and it works we don't inspect those either so the refrigerator in my opinion falls into that category here's where the exception comes in it's there it's something that you need it's something that you use and if it's going to stay there um, when this house gets sold and I think you should let the buyer at least have an idea of what's going on with it. If it's going to be taken with the, the owner of the house when they sell it, they're taking it with them. Who cares how it runs? Because we're not going to, it's not going to be there when you move in. So if the refrigerator I know is going to stay there, I do a, a couple of things. One is I will look at the data plate and see when it was manufactured. So at least you have that information. You can know how old it is. The second thing that I do is I'll just take a current temperature of the refrigerator part and the freezer part so that you know what the temperature is when I do my inspection. It is, you know, is it in range of what it should be in the refrigerator? Is it in range with what it should be in the, um, in the freezer compartment? Those are really the only thing, two things I do. I don't check, I'm not gonna check the ice maker. I'm not gonna pull it out, look at the condenser, the coils, that kind of stuff. Just an idea of how old is it? What's the temperature? at the time that I do the inspection. Or, I mean, if I open the door and the light doesn't come on, I'll comment about that. But as far as the refrigerator, that's all I'm going to inspect with that. Some inspectors think that that's not enough. Some inspectors think that's too much. Um, you know, that's their personal business. Here at Beagle Home Inspections, that's what we do. That's the amount we do on, on a refrigerator. And to kind of give you an idea, let's say a microwave. We do look at it, I'll look at the data plate, I'll see when it was manufactured so we know how old it is. I put, uh, I have a tester that I can test whether it's working or not, I put that in there, I hit the 30 second button, it, the table spins around, and I see whether it works or not. That's really all I test for a microwave because it's there, um, the light comes on, and it works when I push the buttons, it works. It stops when I tell it, it starts when I tell it to, it stops when I tell it to. And it is producing microwaves what else do we really need to know about it? If there was some damage to it or corroded parts or something that I see, yeah, I'll make note of that. But it's not anything more. Like with an air conditioner, same thing. 
I'll use the controls in the thermostat to turn it on, see if it works, see if it doesn't work. Does it turn on when it's supposed to? Does it turn off when it's supposed to? Kind of the same amount of things. The refrigerator, like I said, if it's, the temperature is within range, then we can assume that it's actually working. And we can know the age of it, so we know, okay, how much longer does this refrigerator have to, to work? So that's a little bit about um, one aspect that sometimes causes some controversy in the inspection world. If you have any comments, let me know. If you have any questions or you have a, a suggestion of what I should talk about next time, um, give me a holler, let me know. Get me through the email, or phone number, go to my website, you can get me in touch through that. That's at www.beaglehomeinspections. And that's it for today. So summer's still got a little bit of time left, so go out and enjoy what you can. See you next time.